Now here's a typical CXC question. This is usually how the fraction problems are, a set of mixed numbers that you'll have to work out. Now don't worry, to tackle this type of problem, all we need to do is to work out what's up here first, and then we're going to take our answer and we're going to divide it by what's down here. So let's do that. Let's start with five and a quarter. Oh, let me put that in red. Five and a quarter minus two and a third. Now, since I'm subtracting these fractions and a quarter is smaller than a third, it's probably best to write them as improper fractions. So five times four is 20 plus one. That would be 21 over four. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7, so that would be 7 over 3. Now, do you remember how we did it? you remember our little smiley face here, our little emoji where we did our x and then we multiplied? It's kind of the same idea again. So it's going to be 4 times 3, which is 12, tw and 21 times 3 up at the top, 21 times 3, is 63 so that's going to be 63 minus 4 times 7 and 4 times 7 is 28 now what is 63 minus 28 hmm. well we can take one from the 6 so, so that would leave us with 5 and we carry the one here 13 minus 8 is 5 and 5 minus 2 is 3 so that would be 35 over 12 so we have what we our, our problem in the numerator now we need to take this 35 over 12 i'm not going to change it to a mixed number yet because i'm going to have to divide it by two and a half so that means here now 35 over 12 divided by two and a half means that i am going to first need to change this to an improper fraction so that's going to be 35 over 12 divided by 2 times 2 is 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 i'm going to tell anybody i said that and now i can keep the first i can kcf i can keep the first change the sign and flip the second so that's going to be 35 over 12 times 2 over 5. Are there any common factors that I'm seeing here? Uh, yeah, there is. 5 can go into both 5 and 35. 5 into 5 is 1, and 5 into 35 is 7. Likewise, 2 can go into 2 and 12. 2 into 2 is 1, and 2 into 12 is 6. So it's going to be 7 times 1, which is equal to 7, over 6 times 1, which is equal to 6. That would be my final answer because I divided what I had up here by what I had down here. The only thing I have left to do is to change this to a mixed number. 6 into 7 goes one time and it has one remainder. So my answer is 1 and 1 sixth.